What were you thinking? With, With Aaron and Scott. Real talk behind closed doors. It's not just about stupidity, but everything else that comes with it. High octane, energy driven, in your face. Get ready. It's Aaron and Scott. Oh, welcome to What Were You Thinking? I am Aaron and my... Uh... Hi, Aaron. Hi, Scott. How are you? Man, I'm excited. You have a really nice shirt on. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> well, like, do, we're the, like, do that so do you again. So do you. Oh, Jesus Man, you, Christ. I, think we're, I don't uh, know how he even gets that low. <laughs> if I got that low, I wasn't even, I couldn't you know, get, oh. oh no, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing the shirt in celebration. Brought out the squeak. Brought out the squeak. <laughs> and, yeah, and. Uh, this is awesome. And my, my banner that I'm holding, the We Love Angeline bumper sticker. Yep. And we have our shirts on. We have our shirts on. Oh, what's this behind them well. us? We have we a, a really cool very poster sexy too. poster. It's right, Angeline, sporting on her pink Corvette. Yes, we've been talking about this for weeks we now, have. and we actually came through. It has come she down. She is going to be on this show That's right. tonight talking with us. That's right. So, uh, yeah, interview. Yeah. Interesting. You know, because I've been, everybody has been asking, has she been interviewed before? And Nobody has. I don't real, think she I ever don't has. Think she has ever been interviewed. People chase her. People <laughs> to to interview her. <laughs> That's right. Um, she runs. Yeah. And uh, no, she's very well known in L.A. And you know, I don't know exactly how long, but you know, she's had billboards over the years. And oh yeah, we'll find out. But I do know this: she is actually a very sweet lady. She is. So, um, yeah, I, I think what we should do is, uh, I think what we should do is we should just. Give her a little ring. Okay. What do you think? Let's and do that. And meanwhile, you can uh, chit chat and uh, talk chit. about something. Talk, <laughs> talk about bicyclists. Talk. Well, you know, driving over here, L.A. I tell you, there's no left turn signals in L.A. You notice that, Jamal? Definitely. Yeah, they're right? definitely they're here and there. So no, I go to make a left. I'm in the middle of the inter well, almost in the middle of the intersection because five cars have to go through a red light before they make a, a left. <laughs> But this guy, pedestrian cross in the uh, crosswalk, uh, got a little ticked off at me and started wadding up paper right. and throwing it at <laughs> my car. Call. So uh, I right. pissed off a, uh, a pedestrian. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I, I like the uh, the two car per red light rule that You'll, happens in LA. I right? Just call and we'll see because I'm <laughs> not the, sure about that. We're when right. the light turns red, <laughs> two cars go. Uh, two or five, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's All right, what were you saying? I'm sorry, I didn't no, mean to I be was, rude. I was on the phone. Yeah, of course you were. <laughs> no, I was saying when I was the trying. The only guy who does a radio show, and he's, he's on his cell phone. He doesn't pay attention to anything what that's a, going on. It's okay, I'm pecker. used to it. Anyway. No, oh, I'm just, no I was complaining about how there's oh, no. I was on the phone. There's no left turn signals. <laughs> there's no left turn signals in L.A. I was on the phone. What were you saying? <laughs> Jackass. No, seriously, I was on the oh, phone. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you had a problem driving. What? A what? Was there a bicyclist what? in front of you? Yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the phone. No, I had a pedestrian <laughs> throwing paper at me. He was wadding up paper and throwing it at my car. Why? Well, because I went to make a left at it. Did you already tell this story? Yeah, you weren't Why listening. Why are you telling it Because you were on again? the phone. <laughs> Who the hell? <laughs> they had to hear it once. You think I want to hear it again? Come on. <laughs> Take your meds. <laughs> I need a pill. Here's some water. No, just kidding. I'm sorry. I hate when people don't turn left when they should either. <laughs> hey, you know what's the worst? What's is the worst? when they don't get into the intersection. Yeah. And and they hold you up, and then they and then the light changes, and they stay behind the crosswalk. The next left line, left lane. Yeah. You know, the light turns red. They don't move into the intersection. Ooh, they we, stay. We, we got a caller, guys. Oh yeah. Already. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's let's answer it. Oh, <laughs> who could this be? I have no idea. Let's take this call. Hello. Hi, is this Oh, who is who, this? Who is this? Hi, yeah. Angeline. Hi, Scott. How are you? Good, you? I'm good. Aaron's here with me. Hi, Angeline. Hello. Hi. We have the famous Angeline. Angeline. So tell us, how's things going, sweetie? Everything good? Uh, Yes, because you gave me that cute picture of Sylvester the cat. Oh, we love that. <laughs> where where right. does where does and now this is obviously you're very you're very big on luck. I know that, and yeah. uh, I guess you could say superstitious to a point, right? No, no, it's much more scientific than that. Yeah. When you see things happen three times in a row, then you don't do that again, or you repeat it. Okay, so it's a matter of paying attention to what kind of luck you're having. Like, for example, when I've been on 
tons of TV shows on the 22nd. My investors have addresses with 22 in them and um, newspapers and movies and all these offers come to me on the 22nd. Well, there you go. Wow, that's very cool. And what is, now can you tell us what the Sylvester, how, how does Sylvester come into it? Because I know you were very specific about a picture of Sylvester with the red nose. <laughs> but only Sylvester and not Tweety Bird. A Tweety was not allowed yeah, in Tweety this Yeah, Tweety is shot. not allowed, so yes. only well, Sylvester. Okay, well, the, the um, analysis is like this. The cat with the wrong color is very unlucky for me. Um, and the cat with the white is kind of okay, but the red nose puts a balance to the universe from one extreme to another. And um, anyway, I have a cute story to tell you. So I was driving up um, Hollywood Boulevard, and these two policemen pull over next to me, and they say, oh, my partner wants to meet you. And he says, John, this is Angeline. He says, she owns this town. And I go, oh, oh how sweet. <laughs> that's over. awesome. I'm give you an autograph. Were they on motorcycle cops? or? or... No, they were in the car, but, you know, they, they, they made their presence known by going in the middle of the street to talk to me, you know, with their car. Yeah. So oh, that's Hollywood. awesome. That's great when the police even know that Angeline owns Hollywood. I love it, Angeline. See, I love these <laughs> stories. Well, there's more to the story. So then, okay. this is okay. Sylvester related. So then we pull over and I give them autographs and um, they put bumper stickers on their car only for five minutes. Cause right. Because they're not allowed to put that being I love Angeline bumper sticker. Right. So anyway, so then I said, you know, you guys remind me of Sylvester the Cat. And they said, how so? And I said, well... Black and white and the red on top. Oh, geez. That's awesome. There you go. That's so awesome. Said, well, wow. Yeah. They said, you just made our day. That's so I, cool. I go, why? Because there's a lot of people that hate us. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Angeline, let me ask you, the, 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 the billboards, are you starting, are you going to continue your billboards at some point or are you just laying off them for a while? Well, so many people will come up and say, where's your billboard? Where's your billboard? And then, of course, the HBO people at Liberace had actually bought one. Wow. And put it on the street. So, I mean, I think if people really want them that bad, they're just going to have to do that. Because I've got a couple of movies coming up that they're actually buying billboards and putting them on the street of me just to use in the movie. Right. Now, tell um, me, when, when, at what point... I think I remember you telling me at one point there were a certain amount of billboards that were running at one given time in L.A., and I can't remember that number, but do you? would you know? I mean, at one point when you had the most amount of billboards up around the Southern California number, area. I heard 50. Is it, is oh, my God, way more than that. At one time? Yeah. Wow. Okay, what's the How number, many? Angeline? How many? Probably, well, throughout the Valley and... All throughout L.A., with all the different sizes. There was that kind of a blitz about 500. Oh, jeez. Including the ones that you're going to include, the ones that are on buses and all that. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And, yeah so, so people do love them. They do cheer up the city. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I have to ask that because there's some people who are new to L.A. Right. or younger generations that don't haven't experienced them and seen them. I mean, I think I remember seeing them on the, uh, what was it, Moonlighting, the beginning of the television show? You remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, Back it's, in 87. Yeah, yeah. And and that was every time the show came on. Mm-hmm. It was in the show open, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, that kind of started the, the vibe of having the billboard in representing Los Angeles. Right. Now, everybody that I've talked to, Angeline, they've known you from, obviously, the billboards that you've been on and also the pink Corvette. So why the pink Corvette? I mean, it's a hot car. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful car. And everybody, I mean, you say pink Corvette, everybody always Everyone says knows. Angeline. Everyone. So why is it pink Corvette? Why not uh, a Ferrari? Why not uh, another? Uh, any other car? Any other car, Was yeah. there a Corvette? Was that part of your your idea of what you had in mind for yourself? Well, um, it's first of all, it's the American Dream yes. car. And it's in the affordable you know, right in the affordable price range where Ferrari's a little bit more in the snooty end. Right. Uh-huh. 
but the thing is the Ferrari drives by my car and flirts with it. So there. Oh, there, <laughs> there, there, there we go. I love it. It's awesome. So, uh, yeah. Um, it's How? just the all American, and then, you know, they kind of marketed Barbie with her Corvette. Uh, there right. you go. Yeah. There you go. Not, well, I, you know, I didn't want to not copy anybody. By right. Name. No, but it's kind of, I mean, you know, you put it all together and you go, wow, how interesting. So when, when did you, when did you decide, how, how did it work that you decided you wanted billboards? Did somebody just approach you and, and how did the Angeline fan club come about? Um, you mean the Angeline fame? Yes. Yes. Well, well um, it's one okay, in well, one in one. It goes together, obviously. Yes. Okay. I'll take that. Yes. So. Um, I guess you could say, well, I was in a punk rock band, and they put up my picture all over the street like the band did, and it just sort of kind of like happened, it was, and then it sort of, you know, kind of like escalated into a billboard from that, and the minute it went up, it was boom, Wow. Success. So everybody and had to have Angeline, part, the yeah. picture. Yeah, it's funny. How yeah, do you so feel? I, hmm? No, no, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. You ask. I was going to ask you, how do you feel about paparazzi? I mean, just, I, I know you're very private. People see you, and sometimes I think the misconception is, is, you know, people just run up to you and immediately start thinking they can take your picture, and, and, and you're actually, you seem to me to be a little more reserved and private in certain ways. And well, I'm, I don't want to blow my wad, so to speak. And the thing is, I don't want to sell out to a big corporation, so my fans support me that way. Right. You know, and if they want a picture without me in the magazine on my, you know, under my eyes, then they have to pay. And you know, it's uh, it's just just the way I, you know, am able to support being Angeline without selling out. Right. I think that's I'm great. I'm gonna do it. Huh? I, th I think that's great. I yeah. think it's pretty cool. Absolutely. That's very, very Works cool. For me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So is there anything you're working on now, Angeline? Any any projects, anything that your fans or anybody else should know that you're that you're doing right now? Well, I've got several offers for some films and they want to use my billboard in them, but we're negotiating so I don't want to put any anything but Sylvester on it, if you know what I mean. Right. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna launch my um initial Rock and Roll Rebel Record Party. What is that? that? Well, it's the first record I ever um, put out. And we only made a limited amount, and it mm. went to England and here. And What was that called? Rock and Roll Rebel. Yes, I saw that. I saw that. And, it was um, actually very cool. One was on sale for $19. So I, said, I told my lord, get me that, because I don't have a copy. <laughs> And so he says, okay, let's wait to see where the auction goes. And it actually went to $300. And so um, for a little 45 vinyl. Right. So that's why I'm going to relaunch them. That's great. T can I, yes, go. go. Can I tell you a um, joke? But it's a real joke that my fan club president happened to run into. But I don't want to offend anybody's religion. No, you're not. This is internet radio. Everybody's happy. Absolutely. Okay, okay, here's a joke. I hope it works. So my fan club president's sleeping, and about 8 o'clock in the morning, there's a knock on his door. So he goes to see who it is. He's kind of half asleep, and there's these two little old ladies. And he goes, I guess he calls them Bible thumpers. Right. And he says, can we talk to you about Jesus? And he says, what has the young man done now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I hope I didn't offend anybody. No, nobody's going to be offended. Everybody's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But anyway, so then <laughs> we looked at each other, and he, he says, I'm going to bed. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me. <clears throat> I, I am curious. Um, Angeline, somebody just brought up something to my, my attention. Um, well, what is it? They I don't want to hear anything I don't like. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's something that I didn't like. I saw, I, the reason I asked you about the paparazzi was I didn't even know. I, I saw this this clip where somebody was trying to take pictures of you. Oh, and, yeah. And you fell. And I thought yeah. it was I thought it was sh shitty. Well, the thing is, is that, um, yeah, I was in Beverly Hills going to, to see a doctor. Mm-hmm just for a little ear checkup, you know? Yeah. And they were just, 
I got lucky. I thought I got a spot right out front, and and there they are, swooping down like a bunch of vultures. Right. And um, I was trying to get out of the car with a fan over my face because the thing is, I don't want them taking my picture because then they'll sell it, and what do I get? Right. right. I yeah. understand totally. They, Absolutely. Yeah, and they only want a bad picture anyway. Of course, I can't take a bad picture. Ooh. <laughs> 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 that anyway, one it. time they tried to get my crotch. That was really annoying. The same and group, I, the same TMZ. So this is out in Malibu. They were by the bank, and there were like seven of them. And I was all covered up except for my crotch, and because well, I was wearing panties. <laughs> but anyway, and you're going too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me. Anyway, that, so I'm, yeah. So then, you know, they just freaked me out, and I tripped on the giant thing, and the. You know the uh, sidewalks. I have a I have a question. Do, have you run into these TMZ photographers before? Yeah, of course. And and they're aware that you, that you will cover your face when they're trying to take your picture, right? Yes, but some of them are nice. Some of them like will buy a T-shirt and a, a few of them. But the thing is, I have to say, TMZ didn't do it. It was somebody else. And and um, Harvey Levin said he wanted to say that it wasn't it wasn't the TMZ camp that did it. It was some other paparazzi oh, oh okay because yeah. it's all over the internet as tmz i gotta say tmz no, they're pretty wrong. respectful guys it's okay on tmz but they didn't do it and they oh. said that they, yeah okay yeah okay they've been kind of nice to me oh that's very cool because it's a cool show i mean yeah. and aaron you watch it right i do watch i it. don't watch it but aaron watches it <laughs> aaron watches a lot of things but harvey's a sweetie he, i think he was in the volcano the movie my billboard was in. I think he was in that movie for something. Okay. So this yeah. photographer then is just somebody you don't even know who, what organization he belonged to or she. Right. There were a bunch of different, well, they're all in Beverly Hills, you know. Yeah. Well, I Trying just to, to tell you, I got to tell you, I saw that and I just they're saw They're like the it. mob. It just pissed me off. There's like different mobs. I didn't, I didn't like that yeah. at all. But you're okay when, I mean, you're okay now, right? Your knee's no, okay? I wasn't, well, the thing is I fell on my luscious hips thank god yeah some, a little poof in there so i didn't you know i didn't hurt myself i have black and blue marks oh. did anyone help you up i didn't see that part i would have kicked their head off if they tried to touch me so i was, <laughs> I was like that's my girl me. you guys this is all your i fault. can get up myself yes i, I love it up. You are tough. You know, I just, we like I, we that. have a strong woman I'm here. Feisty. Yes, you she's, are. She's feisty. She's strong. She's pretty. She's sexy. She's she can smart, stand on her own. She's gonna tell you what's what. <laughs> I love it. And I can do the splits. And she can do the. And I can. I can vouch for that. I saw that. You seen her do come, the splits? Well, what I. What did you see? I saw you come out of the car last week when, <laughs> or the two weeks ago, when your leg came straight up in the air. Oh, yeah, and you yeah. said time to change oh. my driving shoes, right, and right, your right. leg your leg didn't even bend at the knee. You were like completely like Nadia Comaneci or something exactly. straight up. You like rock, baby. Do those splits, so watch no. out. That's awesome. Actually, there's a picture of me on top of my car doing the splits. Do you have the magazine? Do I have the magazine? We need the magazine. Ma Where is it? Magazine number two, volume two. Because if you open up the page, I'm doing the splits and. On my car. Oh my God! You know you what? You don't have it? No, well, I don't. Later. I don't. We need it. You know later. what? We will show that. Yes. That is awesome. I would love to have that shot. That would be great. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you, um, I really like the material on this shirt. Thank you. Now, Angelina, You're if welcome. somebody if somebody wants a shirt, how how do they get one? Yeah, that's my I'm other question. Because I'm here too. So I mean, there, I'm sure a lot of people want to buy a shirt from you. Oh, you can call my fan club. What is I your? I can't buy it online. I don't. I'm trying to not be online as much as everybody. I always go against the grain. Right. I got you. I so think that that's kind of cool. You hold I'm your own. You're it. original, creative. So but that gives my space can be taken up by somebody else. See? Right. I'm not being selfish. So what is, what is the number, what is the contact that they can... Oh, they can call 310-289-4469. All right. Oh. I Folks, like I'll have repeat it. that. And do you have it? Yeah, do it yes, again. Yes. One more time. 310-289-4469. Boo. boo. <laughs> I love it. I love when you do the boo. Um, no, I love these pictures. I love these pictures. But you know, I noticed, too, she has awesome. more than just T-shirts. Okay, has... well, let's go through this. Angeline, the T-shirts that we are wearing right now yes. are just one of many of T-shirts, correct? Yeah. All right. And Jamal, you're showing some of them on there. There, there our yeah. listeners are able to see 
No, while but we're she talking. does like paintings too. So she like. What are these paintings yeah. now? Can you explain to people what the paintings are about? They're all self-portraits, and they've been featured in U.S. Magazine. I've had um, I've had uh, some of them over by the Getty with the curator, and I've done a showing at UCLA. I've had a lot of celebrities buy my paintings. Uh, I don't want to mention who they are, but I'll tell you later. Okay. But, okay. Um, um, yeah, I mean, there's just a there's a hundred of them, and some of them they're all self portraits. Some of them are innocent face, some of them are nudes, and some of them are like with bikinis and stuff. I have like three different grades of them. Because when I did a show at Planet Hollywood in Beverly Hills, do you remember that place? Yes. It was owned by Bruce Willis and Stallone and what's the other guy? Oh, Schwarzenegger. Right. Um, so they wouldn't let me show the nudes. Really? Hmm. Yes. That group of guys wouldn't let you show nudes? It's weird. <laughs> Don't they do movies and nudes? It's a glorified <laughs> burger. <laughs> it's the horniest group of guys in Hollywood. I would think they'd be uh, open <laughs> arms. <laughs> they want to keep those to themselves. Yes, of course. We'll keep the nudes and you show the innocent ones. Yeah, totally. So you, you are... You make you draw the pictures, right? Yeah, I paint. Uh -huh. It's um, you paint them? acrylic on canvas. Okay, and then where do people see these, Angeline? Where they just call my fan club. I was well, there's some that are online when I've had shows. My last show was at the Burgundy Room. Yes, uh, it was less than a year ago, and I had a T-shirt launching in February for the black shirt. Right. So every once in a while I have a show. And the the billboards have been on um excuse me, the paintings have been on billboards. Right. You can see them. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now I have a question. Do you notice in the past when you have billboards currently on the streets cuz I know uh, didn't you have a big one on Sunset Boulevard at one time too? I've had a lots of them on yeah. Sunset. Yeah, big, big ones, I remember. The filet mignon area of Sunset, that's between Doheny and... Um, La Cienega, right? Huh? Las, yeah. yeah. No, no, Crescent Heights starts there. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where the Marlboro Man used to be. Oh, yeah, the Marlboro Man poster, and I that's remember. That's where the filet mignon area starts. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, now, when you had your billboards up and about throughout... Los Angeles, did you notice that your T-shirt sales were were higher, or does it matter? Do do the billboards really play any part in that? Actually, they sell more now because people come up and like that guy today, the one when I came to the studio. Yes, it was his birthday. It was a cute story. He said he's been dying to meet me, and he said he's had dreams about me as a butterfly. It was so cute. I hope he's listening. And he said he was trying to find you, looking for me today because it was his birthday. I mean, actually looking for my car? Oh, come on. Anyway, he said he saw three cars but no cigar. And then finally he saw me just as I was coming to the studio. Wow. He saw three cars. You mean three pink cars but weren't three Corvettes? Pink, not my car. Not Corvettes. Some other Jesus. pink cars. Hmm. So, he, he must yeah. have had, he must have had one story, lucky huh? head start. <laughs> Pardon? He must have had one lucky head start. Isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, I yeah. did. I saw him. He was actually very, very, uh, very appreciative, and he was very happy to have met you. I witnessed this when I went outside. He was. Yeah. He was. Um, what's a word? Starstruck. Yes. Yes. He was very. He was very. I thought it was very sweet, Angeline. And tearful. He had a couple of welled up tears in his eyes. It was so cute. Yeah. Oh. It's his birthday today. You know what's but cool. Huh? Oh, what I was going to say is, I was just thinking here, you know, with, with everything that Angelina has done, she's got to be one of the first that is famous and very successful in self-branding. Because so many people try to brand themselves, try to stand out, try to be successful, and they fall short. Right. And I think, oh, that's too bad. And Angeline, I, I think, is probably but you don't. one of the, the first, I think, or one of the few that have really been able to really stand out and brand and be successful with their image and self-branding. Right. Because like today you look at like, you know, maybe the, some of the Kardashians or maybe some of the other girls that are, you know, in the media that are, you know, that are trying to brand themselves and brand their name. Right. But Angeline's, well, I mean. I am, I am good luck um, about, well, just before Paris Hilton made it, I was at a club and she asked to be introduced to me. 
she said she was a big fan of her and her sister, and then she took off. You know what I'm saying? She got big. Right. right. Yeah. Good. I'm oh. very good luck. A lot of celebrities that come up and talk to me, and then they have something happen, like relaunching of a career or something. Wow. Yeah. That's very yeah, interesting. I'm very good luck for myself, too. But but things I, like that happen to me every day, like that occurrence with the guy. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've witnessed this, Angeline. I've known you over the years here and there, and you and I actually reconnected at a place in North Hollywood, Studio City, about probably about six, eight months ago, remember? And we were in a Don't parking lot. Don't tell them where the bodies are buried. Uh, <laughs> the what? <laughs> Don't tell them where the bodies are The bodies? Are buried. <laughs> no, it was, just, it was amazing. We were the sitting there. The shocked to death. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not that bad. It's all no, good. We no, were, we were talking in the parking lot, and people literally start, literally start to gather and accumulate. Angeline, if you don't yeah. continue walking, people will get 100 deep around you. <laughs> that's what yeah. I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah, you... it's kicking it's scary a little bit. That's why I usually don't walk, and I stay in my car. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But Probably time... safer. Hmm? Probably safer to do so. Now, have you have you ever had somebody who is not so uh, nice of a fan where you've actually been in a situation where you had to, uh, well... Get that, a restraining order? Well, I know about that from yeah, somebody... Yeah, let's not talk about that. No, 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 that no. Horrible. I'm, no, I'm not talking about that, sweetie. I'm talking about somebody where you actually had to put the pedal to the metal in that pink Corvette and that baby flew. Uh, well, this is really weird. I was driving west on Sunset over by the Roxy, and I guess the traffic was going five miles an hour at night, and I don't know why, but my car door was unlocked, and the guy put his foot in. It was trying to get in my car. Oh, my. So, Jesus. I know, but I pushed the, the gas, and he somehow got out. Fell out. Took his leg right <laughs> off. <and kept laughs> I didn't do that. No, no. Was it your driver's door? No, passenger door. Passenger, passenger. wow. He, Jesus. Put his foot into the, he opened the door, put his foot in to get in. Oh, jeez. And I punched it and... Oh, I love it. Out. I love it. Now, why couldn't they have a video of that? Right. That would have been hysterical. Where was TMZ on that one? Don't screw with her. <laughs> yes, I love it. But See, from now on, I always lock the door. Yeah, no kidding. That's you know, that very scary. smart. You never, you know, LA's got so many different characters. That's how we've talked about this. Have you, you, just, you, you just mentioned a minute ago that there are many celebrities who have bought your pictures and your paintings and um you know i'm curious i know you don't say any names but have you ever come across somebody who wouldn't you wouldn't they wouldn't mind you saying their name who's been a fan of yours okay okay i can mention somebody so i'm driving up the canyon in malibu from the ocean out it's like a nine mile stretch right Las virgin is and there's a car behind me and it's honking like crazy Really, like, trying to push me, keep going faster and faster. So for nine miles, they're honking at me. And I'm like, wait till, wait till I come to the opening. I'm going to just, like, you know, throw something at this person. <laughs> so the, the, the uh, road opens up to two lanes, and the person comes around. It's somebody in a Rolls Royce, and it's Warren Beatty, and he said he's a big fan. Wow. There you go. He's a sweetie. I like, love that story. That's yeah, very, he's very cool. really sweet. He's also when he was running for something, I guess he mentioned my name. Wow, that's very very cool. Any fa any famous females that have you've come across that that loads and loads and loads of them. Yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. It's it's you know, almost like a lot of like... them straight, a lot of them lesbians, a lot of them. You know, and the other thing is, I have women come up and want me to give hugs to their boyfriends or kiss their husbands. Oh like, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. You're not no. gonna do that. No, I don't want to kiss their boyfriends or husbands. No, I mean, well, not a kiss, but oh. you'll pose with them in a picture. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think I've oh, I supersede in in ninety nine percent of the time I supersede any being jealous. Right. Of me, I love that. That's one of the things I love about my fame is that women will get starstruck and they'll be proud to have their husband give me a hug and. I don't want people being jealous of me because I'm not about that. I'm about inspiring people. Now, Angelie, with with people coming up and talking to you, do you have any sort any um, good advice or kind of anything that you tell people, a saying that you like that you like to like you know leave in, you know an impression on people? Is there something that you like that you like to tell people that come up I to don't you? Tell no, I don't really like to. I don't like to. Uh, 
I don't like to preach. I just like to inspire. When people come up and when they see my car, they just, you know, usually they're drawn, their jaws drop. That's it. Yeah. Or they're so starstruck and tearful. Oh my God, this and that's so sweet, you know? Yeah. I just inspire them and then they buy a shirt and they make an exception. You know, I mean, there's one guy had, he wanted to buy a shirt and he only had exactly that amount of money in his wallet and that's all he had. And I said, I, I really can't take your last money. He goes, you know what? Some things are just worth it. Oh, that's there so you cool. Go. That's I have a yeah. question for you, sweetie. Um, if, uh, oh, where was I going here? Where was I going here? Warren Beatty? No, Warren Beatty. <laughs> oh, I know what I was going to ask you. Okay, uh, your fan club currently, is it is is it primarily people in Southern California or is it worldwide or is it 50-50 or... Because you're here in L.A. Run, riding around in your car where, where it's a constant reminder of who you are. Right. And people like in, uh, oh, I don't know, Wyoming don't get that benefit. You know what I mean? And you, you're not real big with the Internet, you said. So I'm just curious, how, how does that work outside of Southern California? Well, actually, I think I'm the most photographed celebrity unauthorized in the world. People take pictures of me every single day mm. and they post them and they post them and they post them because you know I'm driving that car. But yeah, I, we just sold something to somebody in Switzerland and France and Germany. We get requests like, you know, from our, we do have email, so my fan club president takes care of that. But is, yeah, it, I mean. Is there anything you would like us to tell our listeners as far as uh, another way of getting a hold of you besides a phone number, an email, or a, a website, or anything that would be helpful? for Because uh, I'm sure there's a I lot of people. I honestly don't care, but if they really have to get a hold of me, they can either call or Angeline Fan Club at Yahoo. They can email that. Okay, Angel, that's Angeline Fan Club at Yahoo.com. Right. Okay. Yeah, just I'm sure there's people out there that would just love to get a hold of you. And, you know, not everybody's into phones. Some people are into email yeah. and I'm just thinking, you know, the but easiest way. But I don't way. care. It's much more fun when they catch me in person. Oh, trust me. Yeah. After you know what, what I've I mean? witnessed. It's like, oh my god, there's you <laughs> Yes. Know? It's awesome. If you don't catch me in person like that guy today. Yes. I'm telling you, I've 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 been around you on several occasions and I see when you are standing there talking for about just 10 seconds, people start looking. Another 10 seconds, they start coming up. Uh, if you're there for more than five minutes, you're gonna, it's going to be a mob Absolutely. scene. Absolutely. And that's why I understand Every why she Every time I drives, see her, you know? people will just, I mean, they just come from out of nowhere. Yeah. Cracks, door, I mean, everywhere. Men and women. Men and women children. And children. It's and very, children. very cool. And yeah. fairies. Fairies. And fairies. Yeah. What kind of fairies? <laughs> Good energy ones. Oh, the magical fairies. <laughs> right, and the wonderful ones in West Hollywood as well. I have a, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. fan base in West Hollywood, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, somebody told me actually yeah, yeah. recently that a lot of, uh, they've seen you around specific spots in West Hollywood. I don't want to name any because I don't no, want to. please don't. I'm not going to, but I'm just saying that you tend to gravitate towards certain specific areas. Yes. Because I'm an energy meister and there's good energy in that spot. Sometimes I like to nest there for a minute. Yeah. I love the good luck thing. I didn't realize this good luck thing that I, I thought when you first told me about good luck that it's good luck for you. But I didn't realize that, that you, this good luck also goes to people who deal with you. Yeah. you. You know what I mean? Right. But some people don't pay attention to that. And that's okay, too. Some people, don't, they're just completely, you know, unaware Right. That anything, and that's a good place to be too. Right. Depends what you're doing. If you're watching out for negative energy, and you don't want to go there. Then you kind of. Do you get a Do you get a lot of people that come up with their their children, Angeline, and they want? Yes. That's, oh yes. Oh, that would be Tons. so cool. I love that. Little boys yeah. taken, or little girls, or both at the same time, just because you're such a presence. Well, yesterday was like a four year old little boy, and he he looked at me and he goes, "Hubba hubba." <laughs> <laughs> his so daddy cute. is teaching him well yeah right? <laughs> oh that's so cute where was he from was he a local or a visitor uh no i was actually up north yesterday oh wow yeah it's just everywhere i go i was way up north do you take road trips in your car long road trips i mean are are, are i mean Not that long i'd like to go to san francisco but 
Do you drive there in your Corvette? I haven't, but I'd like to, I'd like to go there sometime. That would just blow their mind, huh? Oh, it my would. God. Also, if, Angeline if, just show up in San Fran. Seriously, if that pink Corvette, and mark my words, I'm going on the record saying this, if that pink Corvette was seen going over the Golden Gate Bridge, <laughs> trust me, you will yeah. be on the local news for <laughs> about 13 million people up there to watch. Angeline yeah. leaves Hollywood. Yes, Angeline has left Hollywood. <laughs> she's had it with L.A., and now she's going north. But you've never actually done that, huh? You've never driven up no, to the Bay Area? actually, in England and France, they offered me quite a bit of money to take my car to the streets of that country. But, I just, you know, wow. I didn't want to do it. I just, you know, and, and then the movie Good Luck Chuck, they offered me quite a bit of money, a lot of money, like, you know. Yeah. But they were filming in Canada, and I just didn't want to go. I don't want to do anything I don't want to do. I have the luxury of not having to do what I don't want to do. You know what, sweetie? I totally understand that. I do understand that. Absolutely. Life's too short, and if you have things that, I mean, you know what makes you feel comfortable. You're probably being, you know, being the way you are and the way you see things, you probably understand that if something inside of you is saying no, there's something not right about it, right? Well, I'm not a publicity whore, and that would put me under that category. Right, exactly. I'm not panting my tongue to do something. I don't even want to. I just, you know, I just want to give... I'm like uncut heroin. I have to dome <laughs> myself out in little pieces, otherwise... <laughs> I want to love blow it. their mind. I don't want to kill if them. If you do it all at once, I yeah, love you would, it. <laughs> that <laughs> is awesome. Do you travel a lot? Do you go to airports a lot? No. That, do you like I flying? Don't. No. I hate okay. it. You hate it? Oh, I hate flying. Good for you. Anything that's 400 tons belongs on the ground. Sorry. Ah, very funny. Oh, Jesus. I mean, put wings <laughs> on that. 400 tons? Is that what they weigh? Oh, my God, yeah. Those things are like, those 747s, 400 tons, at least 400 tons. Wow. It's like, yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying. They're that big. They, If it's in the sky, it's, I don't know. Don't Your get me started. Your body looks like it's built like 400 tons. What's that? I said, your body looks like it's built yes, like 400 tons. Oh, 400 you're, tons of pure so steel. Built Thank like you. A... And I'm filling out your T-shirt great. I'm, <laughs> oh, good. I, I absolutely love this, Angelique. I'm telling you, this material is my favorite type of material on a T-shirt, too. So I'm telling Ooh, people. I'll have to run my fingers through it. Oh, I <laughs> love it. Um, so, yeah, you're, you're not, uh, you don't travel a lot, but you're not opposed to airplanes. So No, and all the... Uh, Worldwide shows I've done have come here, and I've, you know, been filmed here. Right. Yeah. I think I've done every country. Really? Every, including Romania, Israel, mm. Russia, got all of, and South Africa, of course. And what exactly did you do with these countries when they came they to? Interview, they came to interview me. Oh. Because you know, we've I never. from Hollywood. Wow. Because mm. mm. we, I, I think Aaron was saying he's never, he couldn't find any, like, any kind of footage on you or yeah, interview and but Good. you've done it with really? I think yeah, it's awesome that. but I think it's cool because it's it's you're very you're very mysterious well, and she, people, I, don't, I don't see I her doing all the footage wow um, Scott you know Scott my uncle president and yeah he's kind of historian but we have like 50 hours of two three minutes each of all these different shows from around the world since like the late 80s Wow hmm. That is so. Is that is that when the uh, the late eighties? Is that when your billboards started? Is that when they started? Is what it, did it start with one, and then you had tremendous success, and then it went to two, and then before you knew it, five hundred. Is that how it yeah, started? That's kind of yeah. That's exactly. Where do you remember where your first billboard was? I think it was by the Laugh Factory. So that's near on Laurel and Sunset. Sunset. Yeah. Yeah. By Greenblatt's so. Deli. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then. Was it just like tremendous people at that point? Because so that's like having a television show, by the way, yeah. having a billboard in that spot. Everybody who's anybody, like you said, it passes. Well, anybody that area. who lives here in LA would always, who has been here long enough, yeah, would always remember those billboards. Yeah, always. But here's here's the thing. So, did you notice a tremendous boost in your fan club uh, response when that billboard went up? Um. That was the first one, so there was no fan club before then. That's when I first became famous. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. But oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. Okay, I got you. And then from there, they all started, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. I think it's awesome. I have, mm. 
I have this this here picture. We're pointing to the poster behind us, which was one of your billboards, correct? Yes, that was yes. the first one. It's was the, absolutely amazing. Beautiful. I love it. And that was that was a cor- how many Corvettes have you had over the years? Would you guess? I got one every two years, so probably I've had going on ten. Yeah. Now is this a custom paint job that you have, Angeline? Is this like a oh, special yeah. pink that you have? For sure. Okay. I wow. Have a formula for it. This is wonderful. So this is her own formula that nobody else has. Yeah. It's the. Uh... Well, here's what we're gonna do. Well, I just love the fact that you are. It's 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 like comparing mom and pop shops to corporations. Yeah. I don't like corporations. I love mom and pop shop. I love people that have a mom and pop shop mentality. That's what I was saying last and week. Angeline, Ashley, yes. you have that, and people approach you in person on their own, and they love it. They love it. You're like accessible, well, I'm, and you're I'm the so baby sweet. From the mom and pop. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Because well, she's genuine. Yes, you're genuine, and it yes. comes across. People like you, and it comes across. You're sweet. You're pretty. You're you're smart. You're feisty. And um, to tell you the truth, I I'm really, a good bitch. You're a good bitch, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good bitch. But I'm going to tell you, if I was there with that day when that person took that picture of you and you fell and nobody offered you, they would have been eating their camera. I know. Oh, yeah. So where were you? I wasn't with you, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Daddy, sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyway, listen, I love you so much. Thank you so much for doing this show with us. And I, it, it, the time just flew by. I told you around a half hour, but... I have to tell you, thank you so much. Thank you, Angeline. You made our day. Yes. Okay, we ha- we now have shirts that we can wear every day. I'm gonna good. Be, I'm going to be wearing this shirt all the time. That's right. I love okay, it. Good luck. It, good luck. Okay, and- I'm going to give everybody a big hug. Everybody ready? Yes, yep. we're ready. Go. Okay. Oh! Oh! I found that. I love it. <laughs> thank you so much, sweetie. Ta-ta. All, all right. right, baby. Bye-bye. Oh. It's Aaron and Scott. What were you thinking? Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. What if you heard something but did nothing? What if the music you love was gone forever? Check this out. A truly intense and tightly wound app, optimized with stunning retina graphics and crystal clear electronic audio. DJ Dubstep Kit, built specifically for dubstep enthusiasts and DJs everywhere. Five stars rave DJs around the world. Create your own dubstep music for commercial use today. Visit dubstepkit.com. From the darkness below, an intense and thrilling game by the creators of AppCode Source, bringing the ultimate Gangnam game directly to your devices. Gangnam Speedrunner, now available on your app store. Get ready to run. This app is rated G for Gangnam. Visit GangnamSpeedrunner.com. What were you thinking with Aaron and Scott? The show that gets to the core of all the bull. Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. In a world where developers compete to promote their apps, in a time where advertising is key to your success and profit on any app store, create stunning app demo videos with the voice heard around the world. Make your app stand out among the rest. For commercial use on websites, trailers, YouTube, and more, some restrictions may apply. Visit appcodesource.com and order your custom voiceover today. You know, we here at the studio are really athletic guys, and as a result, we're always pulling this, overstretching that. You know how it goes. You get hurt from time to time, or you just sleep wrong and wake up with some sort of ache or pain. But no matter what the situation is, we choose who we consider to be one of the best chiropractors in L.A., Dr. Chet Millette. Headaches, backaches, neck aches. He's the guy we trust with our pain. Dr. Millette is located at Body Structure in Hollywood, California on Cole Street across from Gold's Gym. Seriously, we know this guy. He's got the experience and expertise, and he cares. That's Dr. Chet Millette. Give him a call at 323-469-8062 or look him up on the web at bodystructurela.com or you can find him on Yelp. Dr. Chet Millette. He's the guy we trust with our pain.
certainly is. He's a hell of a chiropractor, to tell you the truth. Well, I know that firsthand. <laughs> I go over there broken all the time. I'm like that weebles that wobble and don't fall down. I'm like the weeble that wobbled, fell down, and he keeps going to see Dr. Millette. You no, know, I feel bad because I should. I was supposed to see him yesterday. Yeah. I didn't see him. Well, you look broken. I am broken. Poor Aaron. He's broken. <laughs> Jesus, that went well. I'm Angeline. You, people I have was, stories. You know, everybody has an well, Angeline story. Absolutely. And then most of them are full of shit. Yes. And, let, and I hate to say <laughs> naughty words on, you know, the radio. Toilet talk, yeah. Go ahead. What a potty mouth. Anyway, so most of them are full of shit. Right. Because they think they know her and they think this and they think that or she's this or she. She's actually everything I said. Yeah. She's nice. She is feisty. Yes. I think uh, I would have liked to have been there when that photographer did that to her. I thought that was shitty. And in case anybody doesn't know what we're talking about, if you go online and it does say the heading says TMZ Angeline. Yeah. I, I don't know why. Apparently it was not their photographer, but you'll see what we're talking about. You'll see her fall. And she's taking a fall. And because it looks, I mean, it looks brutal. I mean, I, it does. I, I it, it looks really shitty. It People, looks, these photographers yeah. are you know, going at her, and she's obviously doesn't want to be bothered, and she's trying to get you know away and do her, and then she falls flat on the cement. I thought it was pretty. But the lousy. fact that she came on, she talked to us for forty three, forty five minutes. She's sweet. She's a very private woman. She is. And, and here's she the thing: is. I mean, like you know, you have obviously a closer relationship with her, you know. So I kind of, you know, yeah, know, gave you the reins to. I just have a. I, I have a lot of so respect she's so private. For her. I, you know, it's like uh, it's her privacy that I have a respect. <laughs> it's like for. you ask her really the wrong do. question, and, and I don't. You know, you didn't want to. No, there's, yeah. there's, there's, she actually is, I can't say enough nice things about her. She is, um, she's, I don't know, she's just, How she's did you actually, cool. how did you meet her? Well, we can get into that on another it, time. Well. <laughs> but, uh, like, there, she made mention, did you both hear when she made mention about the, this, oh, the, that, oh, that's right, that's the restraining when, okay, order? Okay. Okay, it wasn't against me. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Jay's just to clear that out. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, no, it was something that I had really helped her out with, and it was somebody who is actually extremely dangerous. Okay. And it, I'm not going to go into anything other than that, because she wasn't comfortable talking about it, so I don't know that- So you were I, like a guardian angel that kind of somehow- Oh, I was definitely. Yeah. I definitely. It got to a point where it became a little physical with this person, right. and the police were involved, and Angeline was completely innocent, completely- mm. You know, she's a nice lady. She's sweet. Well, here's and the I thing. will tell you this. She took me out after that was all said and done. She took me out for my birthday and I went out with her wow. in the pink Corvette. So when I say I know what goes on and you how people's reaction on. is, yeah. I saw it firsthand. A couple well, guys least, came up to the door. Well, at least you were there for that because I know you wanted to be there when she fell on that curb. But I'll tell you, yeah. between the two, it sounds like... I was there on the more important one. You were there? Actually. You know what? That feels good. Thank yeah, you. right? I feel good. See? But she knows. She knows I've got her back. Yeah. She, you can tell. And when we're out there, she's very... She feels safe. Smart gal. I mean, for her to be able to last as long, these... De I mean, just... People think they know her. They don't. Yeah. People think they... they, they have certain opinions about her people you really don't know well when you we live a private life people create assumptions and judgment correct because they really only see what's in front of them correct you know so today people you've seen our soft side so, we were nice we were nice i wasn't an ass no i wasn't I'm like you will I be say, next week now. can i say this on the air i wasn't an ass oh you know it's like if i say it slow no one will catch it hey he said something oh we don't know what it was yeah anyway here's our picture this was her first billboard on sunset boulevard years ago and Love it. um i don't know thank you angeline so much um, how am I? Or how are we doing here? Uh, we're, we're totally we're, we're off. Almost, we're almost out of time. She, she. Uh, Five seconds left. Fifty. <laughs> oh my God! Let's just do a countdown. Forty nine. Forty eight. Forty six. You're like, wait, wait, wait. what was that thing I kept saying at the beginning of the show? It kept annoying you. I kept saying it over and over. Oh my God! You were on the phone. You were on the phone. Oh, I'm on the phone. Yeah, you were yeah. on the phone. Aaron, you don't. Who were you on the phone have, with? Why do you have to bring it up with her? Oh, with I Angeline. had to call her. Oh, that's right. People, seriously, I'm not that tacky. How many times? <laughs> Ten seconds. Thirty. Thirty. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we got thirty seconds left. No, seriously, I'm not so tacky. That I'm going to go on my cell phone while we're doing a radio show. But I had to call her you had so to she call could her. call of us. She was down here at the studio. She was passing out her T-shirts. Oh, everybody she from met the with us. We're selling, we yeah. got a great picture, everyone. We're going to put it on the website. It's me and Aaron and Angelina. That's right. We have like four seconds left, and three we'll seconds left, all. two seconds left. Hey, I we'll had to make a call. see you next week. I had to Thanks, make a guys. call.